Ooh, 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 can I vlog? No. <laughs> What's going on, Juniverse? Welcome back to another special vlog in which I decided to actually make a video because it's been, what, a year since my last video? And uh, I decided to make this because one, I was bored, but two, I also wanted to uh, see what uh, the feedback I would get from making Vietnamese pho noodles. And because of this whole situation, uh, the, 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 the restaurants that sell pho have all been closed, as, as I mean, at least in my area. So I decided to, to gather the ingredients to make some pho instead. So for, first of all, the supermarket I went to, uh, it, it's, the, it's, it's one of the only Asian supermarkets in the area, but also <laughs> the, the hand sanitizer at the checkout was so watered down. <laughs> right. I, I squished, I, I did the pump and it was like, it was just water jetting out. So I thought, great supermarket, if I ever want to make fall again, that's that's where I'd go because it's the only place I could go. Uh, but all this stuff, let me show you the loot. Okay. What we got here? What we got? Hey, Lila. Hi. Hi. We have beef bones for the broth. We have these spices. This is a good uh, little package. I don't have to buy um, separate separate spices for this. It even comes with a little tea bag to. Uh, for the spices to be put in into the broth. And I've got our aromatics, our ginger, our onions, and then uh, this thing actually was uh, the most expensive, coming in at $11.5 because this is the beef that you slice very thinly on top of your buff. So all this was $43. And if I were to buy this at, at a restaurant, it'd be around $10 in order. So this better last me at least four meals. Oh, and some, uh, here are the noodles. And uh, our greens, our, 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 our garnishes, our lime, and our sauces. That's, if this is high-end fish sauce. Like I asked the lady, like, what's the difference between this and the cheaper brand, which is like a dollar? She was like, well, it's, it's a branding difference. So I was like, well, well, can I use that one? And she's like, no, this is the one that most people use. So I'm like, all right, all right, all right, I'll take this one. And then of course, some sriracha. Uh, every household needs sriracha. And I, the reason why I bought it is because we ran out. So, what are we gonna do first? What are you eating? Eating the food. What are you eating, chocolate? Oh. Oh. What are you eating? What are you eating, Landon? My spice packet? Okay, so first, from what I've gathered, we have to, uh, we have to boil these, we have to blanch these in order to get rid of all the impurities, although... You don't blanch these. Yes, you do. Although, I don't think... You don't. This is blanching... Never mind. This doesn't look like it needs to be blanched, but... So I'll do this, and then I'll roast these aromatics for a good 10 minutes in the boiler, and then we'll see what that looks like. Okay, as you can see, we've got one pot of water. Very specific. You gotta measure these things exactly. Okay, I'm waiting for the water to boil. And so here, I'm gonna chop up some big clunks of this ginger. And we're gonna put these in the broiler to uh, get some of that flavoring out. I have this on a, a, a baking tray and I'm just gonna put it in the broiler. All right, water's boiling. I'm gonna put these beef bones in here. Let them boil. Don't exactly know how many to put. So I'm just gonna put them all. This is just to clean out all the, what they call impurities of the bones. You can see that the broiling has begun and we're starting to get some color on those onions. All right, so we got this boiling for about 10 minutes now, and this looks like all the impurities that's coming up to the top. So we're gonna turn down the heat a little bit, and then we're gonna rinse these out and wash the bones really, really well. Okay, 
So the onions and the ginger have been broiling for a good 12 minutes, I'd say. And so there it is. Oh, that smells so good. It's so aromatic. You smell that? Smell that? Smell that? Smell that? That's good. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do, and uh, we're probably going to, we're running short on time tonight. So we're probably going to cut all these charred spots off tomorrow. It's been a long day and um, we're going to continue this broth tomorrow because the kids need a bath and well, I guess at least Lila needs a bath and uh, this kid needs to eat and go to sleep. So we'll check in tomorrow. Morning universe. So this is day two of making fun. Jimmy, what, what? Can you watch? You want to watch TV? Mm -hmm. Okay, but first we're going to start to make the soup for the noodle soup. Okay. Okay. You want noodle soup, Landon? You want noodle soup? You want soup? Daddy! I give him a big kiss, but I took his toy. Oh, give him a big kiss. Give him a big kiss. I want to see. Give him a big kiss. Yeah. No. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. no, 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 no. So we're going to put our bones back into the pot and add those uh, onions and the uh, ginger that we charred uh, in the broiler. And then we're going to add our spice bag and then let's just let this sit for about six to eight hours. So let's do it. So like I said, everything needs to be precise for this recipe. Here we have one pot of water. So I'm just adding these beef bones in here and just looking at this, it looks disgusting. These are the bones from a cow. Look at that. Look at that. Got a few, uh, got one spice bag in here that I'm just toasting so that the, uh, the aromatics can, can escape. So ginger and onions are going in with the beef bones. I'm gonna dump these in here. Oh, take off the little, little crunchy skin there. Yeah, you know, I'm just gonna leave these char bits on and I'll skim this off or I'll strain it. So let's get those in there. Oh, the pot's gonna overflow. All right, so we got everything in the pot and we're gonna throw in this little goodie bag of spices over here. Huh. Ugh. That's not supposed to be like that. I'm gonna submerge it, but I'm supposed to be skimming the uh, the top of the the, uh, the broth every so often. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna let this simmer on medium low heat for about six hours, and then uh, oh shoot, I'm supposed to season it. Ah, oh. see, I, this is so, this is so labor intensive that uh, it, you know it's good to have a recipe in front of you, but. I always follow directions, so, you know, I don't need a recipe. Landon, are you excited for the soup? Are you excited for the soup? Mmm. Yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. Okay, so we're at the halfway point. We're about three hours into the, the uh, broth simmering. And uh, what I want to do is chop up some of these vegetables and prepare a garnish plate. And then... Uh, We'll get the noodles ready, and I'm gonna taste it and adjust the uh, broth. Man, I'm so excited. Everything smells so fragrant and so, uh, just so, just so hearty and inviting. So uh, I'm very excited about how this is gonna turn out. Honestly, I've tried making pho broth in the past, but nothing to this detail, to this level of detail, to this uh, specification. Again, everything was to the exact specifications of a recipe, which I didn't follow. So. Here we go. Okay, so all the vegetables are cut up. We got some limes. Let me get a little focus here. We got limes, we got basil. I love the smell of basil. Got some green onions, love green onions. Cilantro, I'm okay with. Uh, some jalapenos over here hiding. And we got some bean sprouts right there. Wow, look at that. 
So we're about four hours in and intermittently I've been just taking the fat off of the top layer of this and uh, you know it's looking like a pretty clean broth. There's not too much scum uh, rising to the top and here's the bowl of just just oils. So I'm, I'm thinking this is this is pretty clear already. I don't need to do too much too much of the skimming other than the fat. Six hours is up and the time has come. We're gonna strain the broth, take all the bones out, take all the onions and the garlic, and we're gonna adjust for flavor, and then I'm gonna assemble everything, and then we're gonna taste it. There it is, the final product. It's delicious beef stock, so fragrant, so clear. Wow, so cute. Very pure. Okay, I'm gonna heat this up and just for flavor. Whoo, I'm excited. Okay, the moment of truth. I'm very excited, and uh, this sun glare is kind of bothering me, so. It doesn't matter. Hopefully I can uh, make this uh, better in post-edit. But I have all my vegetables here. Okay. I've got my bowl of uh, beef and noodles right there. I don't know if you can see that. Okay. But the beef has almost been cooked all the way through and it's just slightly pink. Hi, Lila. Hi. You want to come sit over here? Come sit over here. Come sit over here. Okay, so I think I put a little too much noodles, uh, not enough broth, or the broth has been, uh, uh, or the noodles are swollen from the broth. So what I'm going to do is, I'm not going to waste any time. Me too. You too? Okay. I'm going to taste the broth first because that's what I spent so many hours on. So here we go. Oh, man. Oh, that's so... Beefy and you can try here. It's so beefy and oh man, so beefy and fragrant. Let me blow on this. Okay. No, I'm doing noodles and the soup. You want noodles and the soup? Yeah. Okay. Here, try the soup first. Uh oh, is that too hot? Uh oh, but is it good? It's good. She approves. Okay. So now we're gonna put some onions. Me too. We're gonna garnish this sucker up. Some basil. All right, we're gonna go crazy on this. Some basil. Me too. Yeah, bean sprouts. Okay. Uh, some green onions. Love me some green onions. Then we're gonna do some cilantro over here. There we go. And then we're gonna dash it with a little lime. Ow. Splash it with a little lime. You hear that? Splash it with some lime juice. Then, oh man, look at this, Lila. I'm so happy. This looks restaurant quality. What are you doing? Oh, more lime? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, that's good. Okay. Uh, before I, before I uh, end this video and... Can I try? Okay, hold on. Can I tell a story first? Okay. Oh, my bad. Before I... Uh, devour this bowl of homemade pho. I just want to tell a quick story. My first time eating pho was, or actually my first time being exposed to pho was at a, uh, uh, when, I was, when I was living in Chinatown growing up, there was a small noodle place that had uh, pho noodles. And that was, you know, not as popular as it is today uh, amongst um, not only the Asian community, but also uh, you know, many different cultures, but we went in there with, I don't know, it must have been like 10 or 12 of us, just delinquents, youths, right? And we 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 sat down and none of us had like a credit card, so we all had, we were all going to pay cash and I didn't have any cash on me. Uh, so somebody, I forgot who it was, spotted me and I ordered a Vietnamese pork chop or a grilled pork chop on rice. And where was I going with this? Oh, that's right. 
uh, and I somebody ordered this pho bowl and I tasted it and I was like, wow. I mean, growing up I had like egg noodles and rice noodles and uh, ramen, of course, ramen noodles, but I've never tasted a soup base so fragrant and uh, it just it just tasted different. It tasted like a, you know, from a different culture because it is. Yeah. Wait. Is it good? Do you, do you want me to make you a bowl? No? You want to eat from this bowl? You want to tell everybody how good it is? Is it good? Tell everybody. It's, it's, say it. It's, it's delicious. It's delicious. You heard it first. Okay. Uh, some things I might have changed was uh, I could have used a bigger pot to yield more broth in the end. But I'm happy with the amount that I got. Definitely not four servings worth, but you know I eat more than a serving uh, per meal, so that's going to be okay. All right. Well, thanks for watching, and uh, we're going to enjoy this. Oh man, I'm so happy this turned out well. It, I would have been so mad if this went south. Okay. All right. See you next time. B roll.